All right, I'm here with that uh, new White Sox assistant hitting coach Greg Sparks. Uh, Greg, coming into a new organization, how important is this uh, hitters mini camp for you to kind of get acclimated to some of the players and some of the coaches? No, it's huge for me just to get a feel for how it goes over here and getting used to seeing what these guys do and, and putting a, a face on a name and, and, and watching what they have. It, it's huge for me not knowing anybody in the organization or, or the here. So it's a uh, it's a big part of uh, me getting uh, acclimated to the White Sox system. Have you had to do a bunch of uh, video homework in the offseason just to kind of get an idea for guys' swings and strengths and weaknesses, et cetera? I did a little, you know, just starting to look and formulating a plan with these guys, but uh, just getting to know the hitters first and then uh, go from there. I, this is a big part of uh, being a new guy in the organization. Are there any uh, specific hitters in the White Sox organization that you're excited to work with and, and looking forward to uh, being with on a daily basis? Well, all of them, really. You know, again, I get they're new to me. I'm new to them, and uh, getting to know them, and I'm looking forward to spring training and building that relationship and and, and starting the, the season. Obviously, it's been talked about your relationship with Todd Steverson. Can you talk a little bit about that and how how it's probably helped your transition into the uh, the new role with the White Sox? You know, we go way back. I was the hitting coordinator over there with Oakland and um, brought Todd in as a, a young hitting coach and then manager. We spent a lot of time together. We feed off each other well. Uh, did that for eight years. And then we actually flip-flopped where he became the coordinator and I went back on the field as a, a hitting coach. And we've always fed off each other, worked well together. Um, but it had its, at times, but that's okay. you know. But um, again, looking forward to being back with Trick and, and with the White Sox organization. How beneficial is it to have that kind of being on the same page with the, the fellow hitting coaches, knowing you guys are teaching probably the same philosophies and how, how the personalities mesh? I think it's huge, especially at the big league level. You don't want to confuse anybody with uh, different ideas, that type of thing. So uh, the message is the same. The, the, the delivery might be different, but the message is the same. And uh, I think that it'll, it'll work well at the, at the major league level. How would you describe your uh, philosophy as a hitting coach? And are there specific drills you find work better than others? Uh, yeah, my hitting philosophy is basically get to know the hitter, get to know their strengths and weaknesses, uh, and help them be in a position to use those strengths on a daily basis. So uh, there's no one set way to hit. And uh, I'm there for them. I got to learn what they do well and, and make sure they're in a position to do those things. Great. Greg, thanks a lot for the time today. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you.